Smartphone screens are getting beautiful by the day. IPS, LCD, Super AMOLED, you can name it. But according to Jerry Rigg, glass is glass and glass breaks. Today I'm going to show you five simple settings you should turn on right now on your Android phone to be able to access your phone even when the glass is smashed or completely dead. If you're ready, let's go. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot and the message today is never lose hope. Even when your glass or your screen is completely smashed or dead, you can still access your phone. I recently did a video on how to access a phone with broken screen for Android. The option where you start you can check it in the cards right now or link in the description. But then there are five major settings that you must turn on. No matter who is telling you, you have to turn some of these things on to be able to enjoy your phone even when the screen is broken. You can get down files, you can, you know, go into app data. You can do a whole lot of stuff with this setting. So if you're ready, let's go in. The first setting we're going to turn on here is developer option go to your settings in Android, scroll down to about phone and then scroll down to build number inside about phone and tap seven times. If you have a lock screen, it will require you put your pin uh, before you can turn on the developer option. So once you've done, down, you've done that, you go back and then go to system and then you see developer option and click on it. If it is off, turn it on and then we have achieved the number one setting. There will be some one in there for security purposes and then once we're done you go down and then you turn on usb debugging that's number two turn on usb debugging number two so let's go to number three number three is very very critical now you scroll down inside that developer option go down to device usb configuration and move it to file transfer now some of you might worry like when i do this thing wouldn't it be security risk so make sure that you have a lock screen before you can do this else anybody can connect your phone to any system or pc and then take files from your information i'll show you right now what it's like file transfer can only be possible if your phone is unlocked before you connect it into your pc or laptop or computer uh, so if it's unlocked like this you can now plug it in and then you'll be able to do file transfer so what that means is that if you have on-screen fingerprint like mine it could be a disadvantage in the day of broken screen if your phone is not unlocked and you plug it in nothing will happen until you unlock your phone and then the file transfer can come on and that takes us to the next one number four install adb and fast boot i mean it's so simple i'm going to drop the link to this one in the description installing adb and fast boot in 15 seconds and i mean it literally you can do that in 15 seconds uh it's so easy so with this uh you'll be able to run commands copy files do some installation into your phone without the screen being on i've already set my own with a uh, integrated with command prompt cmd so i use adb devices straight from here before we go into number five and the final one if you like this video or this is your first time of watching our channel please click on that subscribe button and thank you very much so from android 6 google now put in adb authorization so you have to authorize your pc to be able to you know connect with your phone without any other authorization as you can see i always tell people to put always allow your computer if you don't, uh, ADB could connect if you have it installed, but it won't be authorized. Now, after you've authorized, then you go back and then type ADB devices. You will now see that it will show device and that the device is authorized to work. Now, this is very, very important. In fact, I call this the insurance. This is your insurance against the day that your screen could go bad, the ADB. If you don't do any other of the setting, please do this one. Download ADB and fast boot. I'll put the link in the description, install it and turn on this one it's very very important you can also use adb to go into fast boot straight and as you hit enter right now adb reboot fast boot it will reboot your phone and take it to fast boot there are still more transfer file copy you can do with fast boot 
uh, likewise ADB. So, but you need to have that ADB authorization turned on for your PC. In fact, do it for two or three of your PC if you have any of that. Uh, because in the day your screen is off, that is what you can use to go into fast boot. You can use to write command, do things in your phone. And this one is the most important one. So let's have the recap of all the things we've said. Okay, this is a recap uh, of what you have to do. You have to turn on your uh, developer option, USB debugging, set your file, uh, default USB configuration to file transfer, and then uh, turn on uh, ADB uh, on your system if you have a PC or laptop, and then you know save your system to always you know access the phone. And that's uh, about the five things. Also, you can also use Fastboot. So if you have any question in this comment section, you can drop it down. I will answer you as much as I can. And then like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell icon. And until I see you next time, peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.